Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jimmy and in today's video, we will be taking a look at the brand new redesigned Samsung internet. Now, as you take a look at my icons right here, I do have the older version, which is the original by default on your Samsung phone, Samsung internet browser. And then here's the internet beta that you can download for free from the Google Play Store or the Galaxy Store. Now, it's just a regular application you download and install. There's nothing crazy with it. There's no programs to join. Even if you don't like it, you can just press and hold and hit uninstall. But I feel that you will enjoy this newer, redesigned, better looking feeling, better operating application. Now, where you're able to download this and get a little bit more details, again, if you go inside of the Galaxy Store or the Google Play Store and you search for Samsung Internet Browser, what you will see is both of them. This is the original and here is the beta. At some point, the word beta will fall off because this will become the official Samsung internet browser. But because they're not fully launched it or official just yet, you can play with it before it is official. And then you'll be able to you know, take a look at everything that's brand new and just play with it. So you have the improved dress bar and tab bar design. You have a new support bookmarks sorting feature and updated homepage and tools menu with a new design. So if this is what you want, you just hit on that install button but we're just gonna do a little bit of a comparison versus the two. So right here is the home page. You can see the full redesign of it. I think this looks a lot better. Rather than just having a black screen on the back, you can have a bunch of different wallpapers and you can put whatever wallpaper you want on the back of your home page. Now, the other thing is that the search bar, rather than it being on the very, very top, which isn't one UI like, because everything should be easier to reach with your hand, they were able to bring it down right there so it is easier to reach and start typing. Your profile icon will stay on the top right hand side. And then you have this icon here that you're able to do a lot of customizations with this home page. So you can show, you know, the most recent pages, maybe a newsfeed or none. You are also able to change wallpapers. So you can use any of these wallpapers up here that is featured. You can use anything inside of your gallery, or you can go with a full, just regular color. Now, this one over here is just regular black, and that's pretty much about it for that. Up over here, you can edit all of these shortcuts. So if there's any of these that you find that you won't use, you can just tap on any of these ones. Uh, so I'm going to choose a few of these, and then I'm going to hit on delete. Now, I don't know if it's just because of my phone and my colors, but this one is a little bit harder to read. But pretty much what you have is you have the icons of... Uh, rename, share, and delete. That was pretty hard for me to read. Hopefully other people's text is a little bit different than mine, but I'm gonna go through and just hit on delete for those ones. So this is where you're able to customize your homepage. And now for the interaction with all of these shortcut icons. So this over here looks like you're inside of an application. So it might actually be hard for you to make some of these changes. So again, if I'm pressing holding because maybe I want to move them around or edit them, I have to go into the edit option. Because this kind of already looks like a home page, all of this interacts the exact same way as icons on your home page. So I can just press and hold on any of these ones and I can either delete them, I can select a whole bunch of them, or I can also move them around. So if there's a bunch of these that I want to delete or rename or whatever, I can do that. So this is just kind of reacting just like a regular home page that you would have with your applications. So that is kind of acting just like a regular homepage. So if I press and hold, I can move these around or I can you know, delete them or whatever the good case like that. So with this one, I can tap it. I can also hit on select and this is where you can select a whole bunch of these if you want to delete them, move them around or whatever. So the way that the Samsung uh, internet browser now works is just almost like your home screen. So again, uh, complete redesign. I think it looks better. It feels better, it interacts better. Uh, a little bit more intuitive when it comes down to what you're able to do with this page versus this page. And you have your customizations right there rather than going, you know, somewhere else. Now for your home page, if you don't want it to go to this home page right here, when you tap on that home icon, you can change it. So we're going to go inside of our settings. And with this one, you can just go to your home page, quick access, and then you're able to change it. So do you want it to go to some custom page or one that was there from before, or do you want it to go to your quick access? And then again, from here, if you tap on this little settings wheel, this is where you have that home page settings where you can edit the shortcuts. Uh, you can add shortcuts from other devices, change wallpapers on this one, uh, which again, this one over here is the beta version. 
So that is, again, just some of the customizations that you are able to do on this one. Now, taking a look at the tabs on the bottom, when you go inside of the screen here, this one on the right hand side, which is the beta, has a little bit better of an animation. This one just kind of snaps right to it. This one comes right over here. Now, let's take a look when you interact with the search bar. So because the search bar was already on the very top, it stayed right there. But this one, when you tap on it, it's going to sling up to the very top and then your keyboard comes in. So this way you'd be able to just really kind of search for anything. So the beta version is just a little bit more intuitive, even with the whole editing option. This is where you just edit some of the stuff on the home page. But this one is also edit and customize. So this is where you're able to change all of your wallpapers if you want it to look a little bit different. So, oh, look at all of these ones. So I'm going to probably go through. I'm going to tap on this water one. Nope, that one looks a little bit too busy for me. So we're going to move right back over here. Maybe put in some water. There we go. We're going to go with this one right here. So this is now my new uh, background or wallpaper for Samsung Internet. Again, just this is acting like a home page in itself. And then you're going right back to your home page. So that is the brand new Samsung Internet beta. Again, uh, there's no program to join. You just go to the Play Store or the Galaxy Store. You download, install it, play with it if you like it. Good if you don't. And all you got to do is just press and hold and then hit on uninstall and you just could just use the original one that is on your phone. But hopefully you guys have appreciated this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe on the very bottom left hand side. And if you like this video, the more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.